Uh oh. Um, I might have actually wanted to extend that antenna. <laughs> we don't have a Kerbal on board. Where's my antenna? I don't know if that antenna can survive the atmosphere of Duna. That's an uh, important question that I did not consider. In theory, we might be able to get relayed by something else in Orbital Duna, though. Still haven't really come to grips with how relaying works in here, or whether it does. I suspect it actually does, though. Well, we want an inclined thing so that we can maybe get to the monument. So we'll just take that. 616. We'll do a slight radio burn to get lower and then do a loose capture and then see. All right, on to Duna. With our Valiant Probe Core. <laughs> oh, if only Probe Cores had personalities. Oh wait, hell, that's probably not a good idea. Someday, someday, AI is going to be integrated with these games, and then we're going to have Kerbals who can actually give us their thoughts about the mission. And then passengers who, like, get upset with us. It's like in City Skylines where they have those little tweets, except they'll actually be like, generated by AI. Sticking out. So, oh, there's Duna. Alright. Heading in. Do we have to do radial? I feel like just retrograde will be fine. So, that's where the monument presumably would be if it's still there. Okay, well, we're getting really close to the atmosphere there. Um, okay, that is the end of that. And we don't need this anymore. Okay, so... I don't know how close to that we can get, but we're going to actually try to get there this time. Again, we don't have to land there. We just have to land 300 tons on the surface of Duna. We're only 422 tons right now. How do we get lighter? I swear we were like 430 tons. Still don't know exactly when we can deploy the drogue chutes on Duna. Since all it says is a safe velocity, and the safe velocity for the drogue chutes is the same as the main chutes. I wonder if the fuel cells really consume the whole lot of fuel, though. Hmm. I think, because we, we just started the engines, and I can barely read the stuff there. But it seems to me... Oh, we can't see the resource manager... Okay. It seems to me like a fair amount has been consumed from each of these tanks. On the order about a little bit less than 2%, but still. I'm waiting until that location is under our orbit. Yeah. So, we'll try and come down on next orbit. The delta V of this, if we need to hop, we can hop after we make sure we land with 300 tons. The goal is just to see whether the monument remains there after having fulfilled that objective. Okay, but I'm gonna save with this. Because landing could still be touchy. Last time we didn't have to use the save, we landed. We just didn't land with enough mass. I sort of more or less liked how 23 kilometers went for us. So we're going to do that again. And again, uh, we're, we're not expecting to land right there. We're probably going to land a little bit even past periapsis, but then we'll hop back using the extra delta V. Okay. I don't know about how the antenna is going to go though. Will we be able to maintain communication? 
Oh, there's that's the location of the monuments. I mean, monument and the uh, landers that we have there. Right there at that point, I think, is where the monument is. I mean, we totally have enough Delta V to stop on a dime and come straight down on it, but we have to land with 300 tons, so I'm not doing that. Boy, is it choppy. I, I don't remember it being choppy the last time we were going through the atmosphere, but maybe it was. I'm going to try to deploy the drogue chutes at 500 meters per second. Well, we're passing periapsis, so I think I'm going to have to encourage it somewhat. We at least won't be getting out of the atmosphere. I, I blame the boosters we left in orbit of Kerbin. I think we really do need to clean those up, otherwise we're gonna have lag like crazy. I don't think we have a choice. I don't think we can leave those there. I feel like the whole the whole business is getting choppier because of those. Oh, we, we went further along than even I thought we were going to. Please slow down. Maybe the air brakes really did have an effect. But I was so pissed at the air brakes for not doing enough last time. Okay, I just, I just hate the choppiness, so we're just gonna go 1x. At least it's not choppy like this. We have 110 tons to work with, and roughly 800 meters per second. Well, we've got some effects on our nozzles there. I think I'd better try some parachutes soon. Things are glowing down there. I didn't try to topple over this time. I think it really was the air brakes that were causing that to happen. I didn't have to change where the fuel was or anything. Okay, we're getting heating, but it's not slowing down. Okay, oh, I'm gonna try some engine thrust and then also apply drogue shoots. Are they actually going to fully deploy though? I don't know, maybe the minimum pressure is to shoot safety none though. What if I say risky? Oh, well, whatever. Let's try the main shoots. I don't know if they'll ever actually fully deploy. <laughs> um, I don't know if it'll symmetrize if I increase this. That's 2,500. Let's just go 5,000. Is that symmetrized? Seems that way. Let's see what happens at 5,000 then. There's no way those chutes are good enough to hold this. Okay, they did deploy. Okay, in that case, let's just get these going. Okay, they're slowing us down. They're pretty good. I didn't expect them to be able to carry this much, or slow this much down, anyway. So that was a good idea. I thought that we wouldn't be able to put enough parachutes on here to make that much of a difference, but it's looking good. Okay, um, okay, they don't apparently automatically cut. Uh-oh, it's toppling a bit. Oh, it's wiggling. 
Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. They all cut at the same time. It's symmetrized. Okay. I think. I think all. Of them. Okay. Uh, I was wondering whether we actually fulfilled it. It seems like we fulfilled it. 361 tons. All right. Uh, well, let's let's go to. I I'm interested to see if this stays stable here after we go and come back. So let's go to mission control and see. Let's get that big and husky done. Big rocket. Yes, it was. I'm glad you noticed. Logistical wizard. Well, thank you. You have to tell me. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, no. Not magic. Just science. Anyway. More time to run tests. Okay. At least she's saying things relatively cogent to the situation. Alright. Oh, we didn't get any new missions. Aha! Hmm. But once we didn't get any new missions after we completed one. But maybe after a little chunker instead. Alright. Let me go to the space center first, because that will sort of reset things and then turn to it. But I want to land at that monument. I want to see what, what there is at that monument if it's still there. So we're going to use the extra delta V for that. It's taking a while to get to the space center. Okay, we need to get rid of that junk in orbit. It's... Yeah, it didn't offer a new secondary mission. Uh, I feel like they're causing too much lag. Oh, they've actually got the Cappy Rock thing there. Okay, hopefully that'll make things a little bit better for us. Okay, landed. That's the one we want. Control. Okay, so now we want to go... Oh, start wiggling again. We need to go that a ways. <laughs> Very scientific. Um... 230, 230 degrees, I think, will do the trick. Alright. Huh, it didn't actually replenish the electric charge while we were away. It's only doing it now. Interesting. We've got the fuel cells, so it should be doing it constantly. Okay. Yep, up we go. Oh, that was an interesting sound in the map view when we were going like that. can't hardly see my trajectory yet. I have to turn it around from going the way curb uh, sorry, Duna rotates then. Maybe it's more west. Aha! It's got the sort of blue tint that you get from uh, Mars's sunrises or sunsets. Now for this next landing we can't use the chutes I guess, but on the bright side, we still have overwhelming delta V, so it'll be fine. And better thrust to weight ratio now. Okay, really, I, I want to go west. <laughs> Come on, west, west. We're sort of slewing. <laughs> I hear people like dog leg maneuvers. Definitely misjudged the heading on this one. Back to retrograde, please. Seems like the antenna held out. Good to know. Let me set you guys as a target. That might help. As long as we see that the monument is still there, I'm satisfied. It was a fairly small monument, though, so you have to get up fairly close in order to see it. Let's keep it to that for now. Now, so let's burn off some more of the 
horizontal, we'll come straight down. They don't. They have some nebulae, but they don't. They don't have a proper Milky Way, do they? Do Kerbals live in an actual galaxy, or like a cluster? I don't know. I still don't see the monument. I'd be so disappointed if the monuments actually disappear after you visit them. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh, let's get those RCS ports running. I left these two here specifically to mark out the location so we could check later. Oh, there's something here. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's still there. Thank goodness. Let's let's get right up next to it. Other way. This way, this way. Let's show these monument makers the might of Kerbal prowess or whatever. Okay, okay, that might be going too far. <laughs> let's not, let's not overdo that. Maybe we should just land. Maybe that's a good thing. Let's just land. Had to check though. We couldn't be sure because the little markers had disappeared and there wasn't any marker for the monument otherwise. So we have to check that they weren't cheating us. Is this slopey? It is slopey. Oh, oh no, no go, go up, go up, go up, it's fine, we've checked, <laughs> oh no, 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 don't proton, don't proton, don't proton. We'll just go pro grade. Run away, <laughs> run away. <laughs> Uh, uh oh, that's too shallow. I don't know what we're gonna do with this thing, but anyway. Jeez, that drag is getting us here. What just. Did something just happen? I was looking at the numbers. Oh, our antenna... No, our antenna's still there. I can't stop. I can't control it anymore. Oh, our controller got busted? Our controller got busted. I can't control it anymore. That's interesting. Suddenly the controller decided to pop off. Well, now it's in an uncontrolled burn. I think it's gonna end up smashing... No, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna end up in a good orbit or not. Ah, uh, it's so choppy after we got rid of the other stuff. I would actually prefer it to smack into the surface at this point. No, it went on escape! What's that one ship that's doomed to... ...sail on? The Flying Dutchman or whatever? It's a Flying Dutchman now. It actually passes by Ike. <laughs> it's a bonus Ike flyby. It almost could have made it back home. You know what? I think if I'm not looking, it's almost on a Kerbin return trajectory there. Actually, it's, it's periapsis is below Kerbin's. So it could eventually encounter Kerbin. It was just trying to get home. 
very romantic or whatever. Anyway, I can't control it anymore. So um, let's just go back to Space Center. <laughs>